WNBA star Brittany Griner still jailed in Russia this morning. And now the State Department is saying the Kremlin has repeatedly denied the U.S. Embassy access to her. Ariel Reshef is here with more on the story. Good morning, Ariel. Good morning to you, Cecilia. This is certainly distressing. Brittany Griner was detained in Moscow, as you know, at the airport last month, accused of smuggling hashish oil. Now, weeks later, concerns for the athlete are mounting as Russia extends her detention. This morning, the Russian government extending WNBA star Brittany Griner's detention for another two months. The seven-time WNBA All-Star player was detained after video released by Russian Customs appears to show the 31-year-old athlete going through airport security near Moscow last month. The video then shows an employee removing a package from her bag. But despite being held for weeks, a source close to the situation tells ABC News that the basketball player is OK, saying her Russian legal team has seen her multiple times over the course of her imprisonment. The State Department says they have not had access to the athlete, saying that they are working on this case. We are doing everything we can to uh, support Brittany Griner, to support her family and to work with them, do everything we can to see that she is treated appropriately uh, and to, to seek her release. Still, the U.S. claims Russia is stonewalling American officials from meeting with Greiner. The Russians are obligated to uh, allow this type of consular access under the Vienna Convention. We're going to continue uh, to insist that they allow us access to, to Brittany Greiner, uh, just as we be permitted access to all Americans who are detained in Russia. The WNBA also working behind the scenes to secure her release, telling ABC News in part, we're in daily contact with Brittany Griner's agent, her representatives, communicating with her family, and our number one priority with everyone is her safe return home. And a State Department spokesperson confirmed to ABC News that Griner is in what's called pretrial detention, but says Russia must provide consular access in those circumstances. Of course, we're all wishing for her safe and swift return, guys. Sure. Awful situation there, Ariel. Okay, thanks so much. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.